Hello and welcome to another unboxing from Pushing Cardboard. I'm Grant Lindeberg, your uh, cardboard pusher. And today uh, from Compass Games we're having a look at uh, the latest uh, enemy action game from John Butterfield. This is Enemy Action Kharkov. Uh, this is, uh, this is uh, a follow-on to his uh, very popular game Enemy Action Ardennes which was uh, if, uh, if you haven't seen it before, it, uh, it was very famous because you could play it uh, two-player, of course, but you could also play, uh, you could play it solo, but the really interesting thing was you could play it solo either side. There was, a, uh, there was an Axis uh, bot and an Allied bot, as far as, I, as far as I understand. And I think this game, uh, I think this game does the same thing. It's a, <laughs> it's a heavy box. It's a big, like, uh, two-and-a-half-inch box. Um, it's, uh, what is it rated here? Uh, complexity medium, solo a little more complicated, so it rates at 5 out of 10 for two player, but 7 out of 10 for, uh, for uh, solitaire play. Uh, and then uh, intro scenario is one hour, full campaign is 12 hours. So uh, that's what we're looking at. Uh, I, uh, I, I missed out on the first one. I'm sure I could get a copy of it, but uh, when this one came up, I decided it was time for me to see what all the fuss was about. So uh, let's get in the box and uh, see what one of these uh, enemy action games is all about. They're uh, <coughs> they're not uh, not inexpensive. That's for sure. This. Uh, uh, I don't know what the U.S. price on this is, but this cost me like 170 or something Canadian, which is uh, fairly, fairly pricey. But um, I'm sure it's going to be well worth it. John Butterfield's got one of the best uh, reputations in the hobby, and uh, I don't expect this to disappoint in any way. All right, here we go. Well, we got a big bag of uh, baggies, which uh, I'll probably end up putting this in trays, so I probably won't need those. We have a... Uh, a 10-sided die. A couple of decks of cards. Well, let's see what the cards looks like. Uh, these are these are your basic uh, poker-sized cards. Nice backs. Uh, this is the German action deck. Um, so I want. I bet these are for the. Uh, I would. Have, I'm just guessing, but I. I bet these are for the uh, solitaire player or something like that. Cool looking talk cards, completely unintelligible until we have a look at the rules, I suppose. Let's look at the other deck as well. This is, uh, well, so that was, yeah. maybe I'll take another look at that because these said German action Oh, German enemy command. So there's a couple, a couple of different types, and then Soviet enemy command. So we had a few different types of cards there. Here we have German player command, German player command, Soviet player command, German action. Hmm. Don't see any Soviet action. German setup, German command. Allied command, allied action. So uh, these are going to be inscrutable until we actually know how to play the game. Here we go. First thing in, or next thing in the box is, uh, oh, this is, uh, we have a, a band on here. Keeping everything tight. German solo rules. This is a hefty book. Uh, we're looking at uh, 52 pages. So no wonder it says the uh, solo is a little more complicated than the, um, than the, than the uh, two player. It's a good looking rule book, no doubt about that. Uh, nicely laid out, big illustrations for sure. But uh, hmm, looks like you are in for, uh, in for a bit of reading if you're gonna uh, play this solo. Here's the uh, Soviet of the same thing. And uh, it's shorter for some reason, it's only 44. So maybe it's, uh, maybe this is the way to go. Play the easier one, I don't know. Uh, 
but again, it looks uh, looks like you know a classic, good-looking uh, rule book. And here's the two-player rules. Oh, and they're even thinner. Look at this. This is uh, 20, 28 pages. So play this two-player. That's the way to go. That's 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 the way to learn the game the fastest, apparently. This is a really good-looking rule book, actually. The more I look at the uh, the layout of this, the more I like it. Plenty of color, plenty of white space, big uh, big blocks of uh, explanation, examples, and uh, pictures. So that's uh, that's lovely. So three big rule books. Okay, now it's not a it's not a mounted map. But this is uh, not a paper map either. This is a this is a heavier sort of cardboard feeling, and I think there's going to be more than one of these. But I'll, I won't be able to show it all. It's just going to zoom in here so that you can maybe have a look at what you got there. Oh yeah, there's Kharkov. Whoops. Now I'm just whacking everything. Camera and the uh, map. So you can see what the the map is. Ever not every hex, but there are a lot of these numbered hexes, as you can see here, like uh, one, fifty-three, fifty-four, sixty-two. Um, hmm. That's. Let's see. There's another. Another map here. This is called the two-player map. Oh, I see. The two-player map doesn't have all those little. Um, here's Kharkov again. Uh, can, where are we? There we are. You can see uh, doesn't have all those little uh, numbers on it. So I bet those numbers uh, relate to the uh, the solo games. That makes sense, and there's so there's three different maps. One is for one is for the two-player game. Here we go, and one is for the German solo, and one is for the Russian solo. So here's a yet another look at uh, <laughs> what the. Uh, the map looks like and it's and this one doesn't have this one has all these little orange squares um but this is the german solo map but doesn't have the numbers in it the way the uh, the uh, russian solo map did so each of the maps uh, appears to work slightly differently from one another okay well another uh, another band of Have a uh, oh, um, another band of um, plastic around these things. This is they they uh, printed their little batch of uh, corrections and clarifications. I guess that's a little bit of uh, early errata, uh, but on uh, shiny uh, shiny paper, that's uh, you don't usually see that. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, some card corrections. So a little bit more errata. Soviet command display. I imagine that is probably for the um, oh, train effects. I bet this is, this is for two-player or Soviet solo, looks like. There you go. And this is for the same thing, two-player or German solo. And again, has the train effects chart on the back. Combat procedures, part one and two. Command events and special events and combat tactics. Now these charts say that they're for the Kharkov German solo game. And we have a similar almost identical except this is for the Kharkov Soviet solo so the same sort of uh, same sort of thing so 
all your uh, it looks like all of your player aids are even different depending on which uh, which way you're going to play the game S one of the two solos or the uh, two player and then here's the thing again same thing tactics and events uh, train key rule summaries this is for the two player game so combat procedures so quite a few uh, quite a few uh, player aids but you don't need all of them you only need one or two depending on uh, which way you're going to play the game here's the uh, counters they're encased in plastic so I'll uh, just cut those out so we can have a better look at them these are um, these are the nice nice big pre-rounded counters So they uh, look like that. They're not uh, not too colorful. Like they look, they're uh, once we punch one out, it's going to be two color. Like this is going to be uh, yellow on top of red here. This will be a green on top of red. But this is uh, that's not. They're not too fussy. Like some some modern counters, I find that just have too much color, too much info. But this uh, this doesn't look too bad at all. Maybe it helps that. Uh, John Butterfield, I think, is probably around the same age as me, so <laughs> his eyes probably work about as well. Uh, more counters. This is uh, this is a lot of uh, markers. Oh, and this is mostly markers too. And same with this. So I'll go back to that first counter. There's that's interesting. So. If we go back to the first sheet and a half, there's the that's the half sheet. Some German uh, units there, and then Germans on the bottom here, and uh, Soviets on the top, and that's the uh, that's the that's the grand total of the uh, counters. So it is not a counter-heavy game for sure. Well, there you go. There's a lot in that box. Um, that is Enemy Action Kharkov by uh, John Butterfield and uh, out of uh, Compass Games. I look forward to getting this one to the table as well. This is, uh, I've been interested in this system for a while and uh, now is my big chance. Anyway, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching the unboxing and uh, check, out the, uh, check out my uh, podcast at Pushing, uh, Pushing Cardboard. You can find that on uh, iTunes or Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts or stop by the website at uh, pushingcardboard.com. Thanks again.